ساز آلی Okay, so I came up with this glorious idea. Um, anyone who's really into M3s knows that a pretty popular thing to do is a uh, electric fan conversion. Well, instead of buying a bracket or buying the Mishimoto kit, I decided that I was going to do something different. And since I like fans for some strange reason, I decided to do try and make a custom twin fan radiator mount. So. Uh, I've already started a little bit, but uh, I just got the idea, made some templates, made sure they'd fit, so it's going to end up being uh, two 10-inch fans, and uh, I'll show you the whole process. Okay, so uh, here's the first, the center's obviously not cut out yet, but uh, that is the first kind of prototype, I guess you could call it. And I have another one of those to cut out, and then I need to wait for the fans to get here. Alright, so uh, just for piece number two, not much of the uh, sheet steel left over here, so hopefully... No matter what happens, I can make these brackets work because it looks like that's going to be the way it goes. Alright, so uh, I've gotten a little bit farther here. I have the two cutout plates. They are partially riveted together. And then the numbers on the edges here are for these. These are all little uh, back plates basically that are going to slide in like this and uh, it's going to allow me to put some thread right there so I can just screw something on to hold the fans on. Uh, the fans, speaking of which, are right here. They sit somewhat like that. So that's pretty much what it'll look like with some more, you know, brackety stuff on the side. Brought the shroud all the way from the hangar back here just so I could kind of set it on there and make some mounts. So see how it goes. Um, we'll be installing some rivets. As you can probably see, clearly the most important step here is the music, because otherwise I might be deaf. Okay, so we've returned to the basement and uh, I've been doing some work on the bracket here. I also have a very oddly set up makeshift workshop. Um, but I f <laughs> it turns out this is actually very flimsy. So I ended up adding a ton of reinforcements. What's actually going to happen is I'm going to add two more right here and cut the ends. <laughs> and. Uh, it's going to turn out that the sheet steel is going to be more of like a template to build everything else onto than the actual um, bracket itself as I had imagined it being. So uh, it's a constantly evolving, painstakingly slow process. It's been an hour since I last checked in and I've been doing nothing but uh, cutting, grinding, and uh, shaping otherwise to get to this point. So as you can see, I did end up cutting these off, 
And uh, these are actually going to be the mounts. They have these lines drilled, or uh, these lines made them because I have to drill that out so that I can have uh, holes right there for the mounting system. And you'll see how that works later. But these are all hooked over the top to go over the top of the radiator. There's three on the top, one that'll be on the bottom. And I still have to rivet those in on the bottom pieces. Uh, but I'm not going to do that until they're cut. So progressing smoothly you know more or less depends on your definition of smoothly wow quite frankly it's amazing I'm still alive after doing this I gave up last night after about six hours of working on this thing and I've been doing it for about another two today but uh, here we are we've arrived at the conclusion of brackets that just mount to the mounting points which in case you're wondering how I did this without the actual radiator, uh, it's called Radiator Fan Shroud, which I set onto there, marked the points, and then built this to uh, kind of fit there in the right spot. So uh, now we're going to take it to the hanger and pray that it fits because otherwise I'm probably going to cry and take another two weeks off of working on it. So, it's been a little while since the last update. I have uh, pictures to back it up though, so you'll kind of get to see what I was doing. I actually made a wiring harness for this so I can plug in each of the fans individually and then this end will go into the controller and uh, it's a pretty lengthy cord so it should work out alright um, but yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited the brackets upstairs, I'll hopefully be painting that soon. Uh, I added the last little hook over the top. And I have actually already test fitted it and it does fit. Alright, it's a beautiful day in freaking April. Finally got back to this. Uh, Challenger sitting outside though and uh, the M3 is going through a test fit of the fans right now and uh, the whole the bracket and the fans and everything fits beautifully uh, the wiring harness is nice it goes I don't have anything in right now but it goes right up to here so when I get the controller in I can wire it right to that um, but yeah everything's uh, coming together nicely right now the fan has plenty of clearance in here so I just got to get this off because these will work I'm confident um, it's a little floppy right now because I already disconnected the screws on the uh, bottom but it does actually fit very nicely um, I just kind of forgot to do the video while it was completely screwed in but it's nice it's tight and uh, I can't wait to get it wired up and show you guys how it works Okay, so uh, the M3 is back at the house, and uh, I've done a little bit to the fan and the bracket since you last saw it, so I'll show you quick while it's in the car, and uh, we'll do that. So I actually painted the bracket. It's um, actually it's just black primer right now. Um, I was gonna do flat black paint, but I ended up uh, just putting the primer on, and deciding that that looked fine and that it had enough layers. So uh, that's what it is for now. I might, if I take it back off, put flat black over it. But uh, for now, just the uh, just the black primer works pretty well. Um, other than that. I don't think you've missed anything, but uh, they work, and 
I will get another video up um, with more like data and performance, um, but obviously I've only had them on for about a day now, so all I can tell you is that they work and they do their job. So uh, yeah. So that's the sound of fans, here they are. There's the controller. So they're uh, actually wired right now to run even if the car is off and the sensor senses that it's still over. It's, uh, I think I have it set to about, about 190 degrees. Um, with the sensor senses over that and it's still off, they'll turn on just to kind of cool everything down. Um, they, they draw a lot of air in there. Actually, they, they work very, very well. Um, I was really impressed the first time I had them uh, run in the car how they they cool it right down they cool it down quick especially you know there's a radiator that was at operating temperature just a moment ago and i can put my hand all over it um obviously the engine <laughs> the engine block's still really hot i might have just seen i kind of burnt myself on it there um but it all came together nice i've got uh the probe in over there and that wire comes up this is the uh the probe wire and the uh, wire for the fans right here, everything's wrapped in black electrical tape. Um, my ground wire actually goes down to uh, the ground at the bottom of the engine bay. <sighs> it was kind of dumb because I did that before I realized that there was a ground right here in the same spot that I put the controller. So uh, I'll change that eventually, but for now it's fine. I'm not worried about it because it works. Um, but here's the controller, have it uh, double-sided, sticky taped to the wall in here. Uh, this is the fuse for it, and then this is all wrapped. Here's the plug for the um, probe sensor, and then that's zip-tied right here so it all kind of stays semi-put. Um, I still got to wrap this wire completely so it looks nicer. Um, this is the... Uh, this is supposed to be a switched, it's supposed to go on a switched 12 volt source, so uh, when the car is off, the fans turn off. Uh, but I decided to put on a constant source so it would be able to keep cooling the car down even if uh, the car was off. And I'm not worried about the battery because I carry a jump pack in the back of the car now. So that's not a uh, huge concern of mine. I'd prefer that the car stay nice and cool. Um, then the green wire here, uh, I just have loosely hanging in there, but it's taped off at the end so it doesn't hit anything. Um, that's for an optional uh, manual override switch that I will put in eventually, but not right now. That's why it's just hanging in there. Um, so I've got a little bit more wire sorting to do, but uh, it is in. It works. It is I need to add some uh, little like rubber grommets or something where the fan mounts on because it, uh, it, it, it they vibrate a little bit and you can actually hear the vibration in the car, so it's a little awkward. Um, so I got to do that and then I mean they're good. They're they're perfect. Actually, they just The whole project really turned out uh, Much better than I was expecting. All right. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the project um, This literally took me about two months to make uh, it's probably like a week of actual effort for making it um, but this was over the process of about two months and uh, I got a lot of motivation when I realized that the weather was getting nicer and I could take the car out again. So I actually finished most of this quite recently. But, uh, you know, as you can see, when you look in the engine bay, you don't immediately, you know, there's nothing like glaringly obvious besides the orange connectors that I haven't uh, painted black yet. Um, so overall, uh, I think it went very well. The system works uh, really, really well. And, uh, that extra five horsepower though.